All right, YouTube. Going to be installing the wiring harness for the RAV4 hybrid. So we installed the hitch. I made a video about that. And uh, so now we're going to do the wiring harness on it. So I'm going to be showing you all how it was done and telling you all why I went with what and what I went with. So uh, stay tuned. All right, back here. Okay, so I went with the Kirk wiring harness. This is not a Kirk hitch. This is uh, actually the Echo hitch. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's tucked up higher. But the Kirk harness is, works really well, and this is specifically for the Toyota Rav4. So that's uh, yeah, I told you right there, and that's the part number fifty six four thirty four. That is fifty six four thirty four custom wiring harness and uh so let's open it up and find out exactly what's in there and and let's get it installed okay so once you open up the package this is what you got you got your instructions and this is the main little guy right here it has a connector for it's going to connect to one of the tail lights and then it goes to the opposite side and connect to the tail lights there too so that's the main plug, four pin connector. That's a little, um, little protector there to keep it watertight. So that's that. And then there's some fuses, some more little connectors and whatnot to ground some stuff. Now on these cars, normally what you do is you run the, um, you gotta run a power wire all the way to the front of the car where the battery is but in the rav4 hybrids uh 2019 up uh, this particular one the 2022 and 2023 is going to be the same the battery is not in the front um the battery is actually right here so um so basically you start off taking this mat out pushing everything back you have to remove these covers uh, this cover right here this cover here and then um but there's also a battery i mean the, the the cover here is pretty easy to remove so all that comes off so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you how it was done and uh, get started on the whole process okay all right stay tuned our weather mat's gone out um and then this cover right here so at that point you have some more access to stuff so this cover right here pops off and then this cover here pops off there should be a grab handle right here yep you pull on it pull that to the side and everything just kind of pops open and as you can see voila that's the battery okay so let me step back so you can kind of see what i just where it's at so that is on the passenger side compartment and I did this in real life I mean real real speed so yeah so you take this uh, put it on to the rest of the stuff no bolts to remove there guys it's just just kind of basically pulls out as, as you saw in the video so that's gonna be your battery um, and then there's a there's a plug up here I'm gonna see if I can be able to get to the plug without removing all this, but I'm gonna to have to remove it anyway, some of it to to run the cable. So, um, and this side definitely I'm gonna to have to remove to get to that, get to that light. So, anyway, so let me um, let me get removing these panels. Um, it shows to remove all of this. So this plastic, this plastic. And this plastic okay so i'll see if there's any quicker way i can do it without doing that but um let me uh let me work with it a little bit and i'll get back with you all okay bye okay so i'm using simple tools like these right here well this is a clip remover not too simple but use a screwdriver if you don't have that um this is the stuff that i'm using and i had to remove a couple of bolts so a 10 millimeter bolt uh, right here and this clip 
that's on top. And where these went was, there was a 10 millimeter here, which is the same as that. Moved it from that side, and then the clip right here. And the rest of it, I just pulled out, okay? So you just have to have enough space to be able to uh, access. Uh, it was plugged right there, okay? So, um, and then I actually put in the little, little computer brain. So, basically, when you step back, that's how you'll see it. All right, so uh, let me get the... Let me get the plugs installed. A little black brain put somewhere nice, tucked up, and then run it to the other side. And gotta do the same thing with that plug and then connect it to the battery. All right, be right back. Okay, so now basically I just connected this connector here. This is connected to the plug. This goes right to the uh, tail light for the driver's side, and then it plugged in right here. So now this yellow harness um, basically connects between it. So that's how it is. So now all that's gonna go in there. And then the only thing that's gonna come out is gonna be this guy and this guy to the other side. So we're gonna also have to ground some things and stuff, but um, I'll be back. Okay, so y'all will understand how this works here. The black wire is going to be a power wire that needs to be powered up um, by the actual battery. So there'll be a power wire ran from the red, the positive side, ran through here. And it's going to be attached to here. The other connector, which is a white wire, this is going to be actually a ground wire. Okay. Those are the two things that need to be connected. This will ground somewhere in the chassis in there. And then this one here will just be connected to the uh, existing, to a, to, a, to a power wire, which is going to be this guy. Okay. I gave you a long one because they normally have to run, you know, from the, from the front of the car. But this one's going to be a lot shorter because it's you know, about four feet. That's that. So let me get on to that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I ran the wires that I need to run to the other side under here. So that's how that's going to be. And then all that will go over this way, except here. This is going to be the plug. Now, this plug is going to stay inside the uh, spare tire cover. Whenever I need to tow something with it, then I pull it out and run it under. But so that's not coming out. Um, but I went ahead and installed the things I needed to install in here. I ran this wire, um, but connected and also taped it after. Um, so she's nice and tight. And I also um, put the black box right here that you see here, which is what comes with the kit. And then this white wire. So I wanted to focus. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Okay. And then this white wire is the ground wire, and I connect it. So I use the same bolt. Um, let's see if I can get it to. I use the same bolt that I attach this to to the factory. Basically, the the factory has a bunch of little little holes, um, stuff that you can uh, bolt to like that. That already has a um, a nut behind it. So I just took a factory bolt and ran it in down there so that's the little box that little black box and then this wire and the black box together are using the same bolt Let's see if i can get the bolt so you can see it so yeah you see the bolt right there um so the white wire is first and then i Tightened it up with that, with that little bolt right there. So that's it, guys. That right there is done there. So I could pull my flashlight out of there and start putting this back together, click it back in place. Then I can start on the opposite side. So be right back. All right, so I took all my wiring and just put um, some zip ties to it and, 
And then, uh, let's see here. Let's get some good pictures. The zip ties is there. So now I'm just going to pull everything through. All of that side will stay there. And then I got um, my power wire now in there. And then this is going to be the plug that I need to plug up to the um, to the light up here so those are the two things and mind you I always I haven't put the uh, the fuse in right so that's the way you can leave your battery connected but just you know don't put the fuse in until everything is already installed okay so that's what I would do and then this guy I have it zip tied until So right here because from there on it's gonna wrap up and it's gonna be in this compartment until I use it and all this will be tucked under the cover and this will just come out and it'll be tucked up and all this will, will be under it once once we're done the only wire sticking out will be this one which is the uh, another one with the four pin okay so I hope that y'all understand that I still haven't put all the covers back on I'm just um, putting everything connected and then I'll make sure I put everything back now it's about remove it's about getting to this cover uh, the, the plug up there so if I can get to the plug without removing this I'll do it and uh, I'll let you know if I do or if not but the, the instructions say you have to remove this cover so all right be back so yeah you got to take the cover off um, it's pretty easy you know the clip right here and then uh, bolt right here, which is all in there. Clip, bolt, 10 millimeter, and just pull back. And then you look for um, the connector for the, I mean the headlight, I mean the tail light right here. You follow it, and it, and that's your plug. So you're basically just taking that plug right there. grab my other set of hands <laughs> and get it but yeah you remove that and that's where your plug is going to connect be right back okay so that's the the one with the black right here that's the car harness and you used to go to the tail light now it goes into the split wire and the split connector that comes with the uh the kit that we're installing and that's your green wire that i grabbed from the passengers from the driver's side so now this part of it connects where the other one used to go all right so got back so now that connects to the where the other one used to go so let me do that okay click that is the that's what you want to hear you want to hear click so at that point guys that's connected so um I'll go ahead and make sure this is all right and nice and uh and that so now the next thing would be is to connect this to your plus your positive battery terminal so i'll be doing that and showing you how that works yeah, right back all righty so everything's connected like it's supposed to um there you go now we got light again everything's connected uh, fuse is on everything's ran under here that guy is the only guy that's sticking out and uh that's that so now i'm going to put all my panels back and um and that'll be it so whenever i want to run power i mean run my um run my my trailer my power will be right there and then when i'm done be back in there so guys that's the way i did it um so and then obviously you just now reverse everything put your bolts your union screws back on and uh battery compartment back on and that's it so um i'll also give you all a video of it after it's all done and uh you know in daylight so you can see everything more thorough okay but uh unfortunately i started kind of late 
and it got a little dark on me so but yeah i'm just gonna put the bolts back on trays back on covers back on and tomorrow i'll go with the finalized video all right see you then okay so now it's daylight so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how everything came out and um So everything's back together, just click back in place, clip back in there, 10 millimeter bolt back on. You know, everything's on, and that's where the battery, you know, location is. You just pull this back. Obviously, you got to pull these things out first, but, yep, so everything is back on. So, if we're going to use the, um... trailer we just pull this guy out right here okay. so that's how that would be and we'll be able to close the door and it shouldn't be no problem at all That's how that is. So that'll hook up to the trailer with lights and we're good to go. I also got this um this kit right here. I got this at Walmart, obviously. You know, this is a their brand. So what I realized I did a measurement, it needs to have a four inch um um up. So it needs to go four inches up to be level with the boat. So this is a four inch drop but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it the opposite direction and change the ball from this location to opposite so it'll end up like that but with the ball facing up and that'll give me the four inch high instead of four inch low and um, my particular trailer is a two inch ball so that's what I went with part numbers What I went with so yep and it comes with one of these new pins inside so I believe it's around twenty six dollars or something like that for that so um yeah. but obviously it's gonna be the other way it's gonna be like that and then with the ball on top so I'm gonna go ahead and swap that around and then um and then we're gonna go pull it Pull this one to the back and test it with the with the boat and we'll go from there and make sure all the lights work all right we'll be right back all right so i'm gonna go ahead and back this bad boy up here and check it out uh, against the boat stuff should be somewhat okay there for now i'll tell you what guys um i have to work on this one to actually switch it around Pain in the butt. The, the bottom bolt right here is a uh, one and a half inch, and I mean you have to put this thing. I mean it's just a pain in the butt from the factory. I guess the way they build it, man, they put it super tight. Um, I mean I got it. Obviously now it's the opposite direction, but uh, very hard. So um, all right, let me go ahead and get everything installed uh, on the boat, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put the ball up. And that's how it will be in that position. Obviously, so the bull will go in there. That'll be the distance from it. So let's test out the power now, the moment of truth now, see if we got power here and everything works because I didn't have the little tester. I mean, I know there's power here because I probed it, but I mean, I checked it with it, but I want to make sure everything is correct. So uh, I got my boat right here. And um, so we're going to test it. So this is the moment of truth now. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna connect these two guys. We'll see if we get any kind of power. Okay, that's 
disconnect it. Lights are on. Bam! We got power on here. All the lights are working. Uh, hit the brakes. Brakes off on. Okay, so I got one brake light that's not working over here, but it's probably nothing to do with what I did. Just um, probably there's a bolt on that side. Okay, so I got power here. So let me go ahead and finish installing the boat. Hitch on. I'm gonna go for a little ride and see how she responds. Be right back. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and put the boat on. I got the pick chains on. All the lights working. As you can tell, um, this boat looks like it's heavy, but it's modern boat. It's a lot lighter. It's right around 2,400 pounds total. Um, no trick or anything. So, but we'll see how she is and how she responds. To side of the tire wheel, see how much it goes down. Let me know what y'all think. 2023 RAV4 Hybrid. This boat around 23, 2400 pounds in the back of it. We're taking it to Florida. So that'll be another video. I'll show you how that will work out and stuff. There's a big discrepancy with these. A lot of people uh, in Europe are using these right around 3,000, 3,500 pounds with a hybrid. Same setup and a non-hybrid, um, like a venture model with a TRD that have a regular transmission, they tow 3,000 pounds, 3,000, 3,500 pounds. So this one here is 1750 from the factory, um, but uh, same brakes, same system, and then the same hybrid system, the same E uh, CVT that is in Europe, it's a 3,000 pound system. So um, 3,000 pound towing. So we're gonna be trying uh, a little less than 3,000 pounds to Florida. Obviously, we're gonna be easy with it. But uh, that's what we're going to be doing, and the car is going to be kind of loaded up with people too, so that should be a good uh, test for the good old Rav4. So we'll be doing that. So wait for a video for that. All right, guys, if you got any questions, uh, like and subscribe. Send the questions over to to uh, to the uh, the channel. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you. Have a good day.